All right, it's almost NFL time, and for sickos like me, I'm gearing up for the fantasy season as well. So why not? Today we'll react to more NFL players and their fragrances on GQ's hit YouTube series, 10 Things I Can't Live Without. Again, my name is Manny, aka Cascade Sense. Welcome to the channel. And you know what? I can't front. Looks like these guys brought the heat, so I cannot wait to get into this roll intro roll video. Right here we got the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. Firstly, we have All-Pro Wide Receiver for the Las Vegas Raiders, Devontae Adams, with his 50ml Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. Classic scent, can't refute it. This is one of the most essential things for me. You know, if I had to jog past somebody for whatever reason, you're probably gonna be smelling Tom. Imagine just walking in your own neighborhood and you see Devontae Adams casually just jogging past you. I think that would be pretty cool. Or maybe you are a DB trying to cover dude on a route and he just absolutely cooks you. And all you smell on his way to the house is Tobacco Vanny. In that case, I'd be triggered. But yeah, if you didn't know, Tobacco Vanny is one of the OG Tom Ford private blends. It opens up with this very sophisticated dried fruity accord. Not too decadent, but still yummy enough. And that's followed up with this warm, enveloping, but rugged tobacco. Very charismatic, masculine stuff when that is emitting off of you. Definitely equal parts tough and gentlemanly, and when it dries down even more, it gets sweeter with that vanilla coming out, and that vanilla is even yummier despite its darkness. So just the right amount of sweet, I just love this juice altogether, and I've been recommending it for years, and I'll continue to do so as long as you can afford it, and I'll get to that price later on. I use this usually on game days because we obviously play more games during the day than we do at nighttime, so it smells amazing. Let's get a little... <sighs> smells like me. It's good stuff. I'm glad that Devontae feels so at ease with such a distinguished scent in my mind, especially on game day. Like to me, it's a pretty confident scent, and I guess that makes sense for someone like him, as he is an alpha wide receiver after all. But yeah, again, love, love, love Tobacco Vinny. And if you are in the market for a 50ml bottle yourself, it currently retails off of the Tom Ford website for $300 US. So not cheap, however, it still relists on the gray market, like on a site like Joma Shop, for just under 200 USD. So if you're also in the market for 100% name brand authentic fragrances for less, you should really consider a site like Joma Shop. And if you're like me in Canada, if you didn't know, they now as of 2024 ship to this country too, which of course I approve. So if you didn't know, now you know, but let's move on to the next one. Salute to Devontae Adams with an absolutely class pick of Tom Ford Tobacco Vanny. First is our different selections of colognes. So if I'm waking up in the morning, I'm feeling good, it's a good day. I usually tend to go for this. The day cologne, Dior. Up next, we have the Griffin twins. That's Pro Bowl cornerback Shaquille Griffin and his brother, the retired Shaquem Griffin, former NFL linebacker. Now, I'm sure they'll touch on most of these, but before they do, that is a 60 ml Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette, a 100 ml Bleu de Chanel Parfum, a brand new 100 ml YSL L'Homme Lantance, a 50 ml Bleu de Chanel Eau de Toilette, and a 100 ml Dior Homme 2020 that Shaquem is about to get into. Nice smell, kind of subtle, not too much. When you walk by, you're like, who is that smell so good? But by the time they smelt it, you're already gone. And I'm with Shaquem here as far as this newer Dior Homme. No disrespect to the iris lace formulations of Dior Hommes of old, which I do personally prefer, but this more minimalist ISO-E super dominant version is more addicted to the casual noses that Dior is trying to actively sell to. So it has dominant notes of cedar, patchouli, and vetiver, but all done in an almost velvety, soft, musky, more modern, masculine, minimalist type of way. Just an overall excellent signature daytime scent. So now we're going to the second cologne. Like you feeling yourself, you about to get ready to go out somewhere, you finna hang out. Some pretty ladies might, you know, come next to you, give you a hug or something. Let me guess, it has to be Bloody Chanel Parfum. You wanna go with this. This one you don't leave, cause you smell so good, you wanna stay in the picture. You gotta stay. The YSL, stay in the picture, this is your night cologne. Okay, I just picked BDC Parfum because it was open, but as you heard here, for the nighttime scent for the boys here, it is YSL Lam Lantance. No, it's not like the super satisfying, lemony, gingery, Eau de Toilette OG. Instead here you have orange blossom, but quickly followed up with some woods and amber, highlighting mostly for a darker addition to the Lam lineup. It almost comes off as leathery too, despite leather not actually being listed as one of the notes here. And overall, it's just not my favorite Lam flanker. Maybe because again, I was a little cheese when this came out and didn't smell somewhat like the OG. But salute to YSL anyway for doing something definitely different here because it's definitely interesting. Now, for those of you out there who has a special lady at home, you know you want to smell good going to sleep, and you got to smell good. Yes. If you're going to do it all day, 
you might as well take it to bed. Gotcha. So I want to go with this one. Mm, 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 Chanel. There it is. Bedtime scent in Bleu de Chanel Parfum. The scent is beyond proven. Trust me. Now its opening is less vibrant and dispersing in comparison to the OG EDT and or EDP, but it is still awesome. But that's because that woodsier base is just going to come out uh, a lot more sooner here and feel like a little bit more linear and also more luxurious throughout its wear. It just feels like that full bodied base just feels a little bit richer. That satisfying deep waters vibe here that trust me, any girl may find herself losing herself in. So some people like to write off these blue types of scents, uh, shower gel or something like that, but I think it's shower gel done to the highest degree here in Bleu de Chanel Parfum. So great job on this pick, Griffin Bros. Growing up, my dad always gave us different types of colognes to kind of test out. We took it. Yeah, he took his colognes. Well, hey, when life gives you lemons, uh, you know the rest, right? So salute to all the parents getting the young ones started on this uh, fragrance culture. The way my dad used to put his cologne, he had this DVD player. Never use it, collected dust. But he kept his cologne on it, so if we ever moved his cologne, you can see the print from the dust, so he knows if someone touched it or not. And we had to put it back in the right spot, or he'll know. We got caught literally 100% of the time. <laughs> Hey, I love a good wholesome early on fragrance story. And I don't have kids, but I think it's cool that young people want to emulate their parents even through fragrance. So that's what's up. And if you want to smell like the Griffin Twins, here's how. The current Dior Homme currently retails for 120 USD for a 100 ml. And while I don't hate the retail evaluation for a well-blended scent like this, you may as well just get it for a discount on Joma Shop for just under 100 USD. As for YSL L'Homme L'Entence, sadly it is discontinued and therefore going for a pretty penny because because it is no longer available on YSL's website for sale. So over 180 USD at 60 ml is not the worst resale value, believe it or not, but still not remotely justifiable either. I think it's rather unapproachable, all things considered. And as far as Bleu de Chanel Parfum 100 ml, of course it is a Chanel, so it won't be marked down on the gray market. But if this is your favorite Bleu Flanker or Blue Fragrance in general, I can't refute anyone trying to pay retail at 193 USD, as you'll have no choice otherwise. So just have at it if that is you. Otherwise, it's nice to see a brotherly and again wholesome take on fragrance. Salute to both Shaquille and Shaquem Griffin. This cologne is called Bond Number no. 9 Dubai Collection. Up next is Shaquille's teammate on the Minnesota Vikings, all pro wide receiver Justin Jefferson. And here he has his 100 ml Bond Number no. 9 Dubai Black Sapphire. Definitely a fringe scent with a baller price tag. I mean, cologne is definitely one of the the big essentials for me. Love smelling good. I uh, love, you know, smelling like money. So, you know what I'm saying? Gotta have cologne on, gotta have that strong scent, strong flavor to it. All right now, so I personally believe that scent is more of a cherry on top, but I know that colorful slash successful people like Jettas here will often conflate luxuries as necessities. And they can do that, they earned that shit. But to me, necessity, this is not. Like, I can't just do black sapphire personally. And it just bordered on unwearable. It's like a nuclear, dirty, potpourri type of scent. So that must be the ouds and the resins along with the rose here just kind of popping and not popping that flatteringly. But again, that's just my opinion. If that's something that might be up your alley, you might want to try it yourself ah. it's a it's a strong rich scent it, it's it's tough to really describe you really got to smell it to really understand what it is it smell like money that's what give you a good taste of it Jettis, it's not just tough to describe, it's tough to wear, my guy. But hey, to each your own, I'm just glad that Jettis is simply enjoying scent. And hey, that should be the attitude that y'all have too. Sometimes I see y'all in the comments, if I ever lament something, it's like I just made fun of your kids. You'll throw some really personal insult at me. But what can I say? It's really not like that. Like, I'm on your side, even if I disagree with y'all. Because I simply make frag videos because all scents are cool, even the ones I don't like. For me, I try to find solace in our differences. We gotta unite in our differences. We gotta do that in the name of scent because there's enough people out there that are anti-scent trying to go at war with us. So we don't need to be at war with each other. We're scent lovers from different mothers, all right? Anyway though, I digress. If you too also wanna to smell like Justin Jefferson, a 100 ml Bond number no. nine Dubai Black Sapphire currently retails for 600 USD. Again, definitely not cheap, but at least you can get this stuff for just over half off at Joma Shop or way over half off at 240-ish USD. So if you didn't know, now you know about Justin Jefferson and his Dubai Black Sapphire fragrance from Bond number no. nine. Thank you. 
Right here we have Clive Christian. It's a men's cologne. Really only find it at Neiman Marcus. Now to end off the show, here's my GOAT, former Detroit Lion All-Pro wide receiver, Calvin Johnson. And that's his beat up mini Clive Christian number one for men. And don't worry, I'm going to correct Megatron here. You don't have to just pick this up at Neiman Marcus, but basically your favorite luxury goods department store of choice. Chances are they are stalking Clive Christian. My coach, uh, Sean Jefferson, we call him OG. He put me onto this back in the day when I was playing ball. I love it so much, man. It's a great smell, uh, very strong cologne, and uh, it's pretty exclusive because it has a high price tag. Gotta love it when someone puts you onto something and you're so enthused about it and you really want to just reference that like Megatron is here with his coach. And yeah, I really feel him on this one because number one's really good. It's spicy and fresh to start with the pimento and lime, but it gets really powdery really fast. And I know powdery scents aren't for everyone, but when trying to smell distinguished or rich, it's one of the best ways to go if you ask me. Like those powdery florals just make me feel so posh, I guess. And I think it's cool. And even if it's something that you wouldn't wear, I think you'd smell this and just feel like, okay, yeah, I see it. I get it. It might not be for me, but I get it. And then throw in a beautiful sandalwood and musk and vanilla in the babes, just chef's kiss. So yeah, just overall excellent stuff. And if you're the type to enjoy some of my other favorites like Byredo Gypsy Water or Chanel Bois de Zeal, I think you should definitely try this stuff too if you've yet to. Yeah, this is how it goes down real quick in the bathroom. A little squirt on the wrist, get that little rub in, a little rub in right there. If I'm walking around New York City, I might get a little spray of my chest under the shirt. <laughs> now I'll cut Megatron some slack for that spray routine because it is a small bottle, so maybe he's just trying to conserve it. But otherwise, yet again, sprayers were introduced in fragrance, so you wouldn't have to rub it in like you would with splash bottles of old. So just spray your damn fragrances, will ya? And yeah, in closing, if you too want to smell like Calvin Johnson, this also won't be cheap as it is a Clive Christian after all. And number one here in 50 mLs currently retails for a whopping 790 USD. Like that is legit fun you type of money but hey it is a pretty scent after all we are dealing in the luxury good space so I cannot refute any of this. And at the very least, you could still save on Juma Shop because for just around 300 USD, that is still way over half off. So yeah, you do know where to go now if you want to smell like Megatron and salute to the GOAT for sharing number one with the class. And there it is, guys. Thank you for sticking around this long if you are still here. But it's at that point of the video where I want to know what you think again. Got a favorite player here and or fragrance? Perhaps a take of theirs that you really liked? Let me know in the comment section below. That being said, also please subscribe if you have yet to come hop on this train to 40,000 subscribers we'll get there faster if you are with me and also hit the notification bell as well if you want to be among the first to watch videos like this so until that next video thank you for the ongoing support take care for now peace out bye my name is Manny where are your fragrances